Welcome back to video 8 in the series. The following is a snapshot of life on board the Tokyo Express in the first two years I had her in the water. After two weeks preparation, the maiden voyage was from Noosa up to Ely Beach in the Whitsundays. It was like camping in those early days, but that's okay. I was on the water, not in my shed. It was comfortable, and I never slept so good as on that boat. I still had stacks of work to do, so cruising was combined with working, even on the move sometimes. These are the coral islands at the bottom of the Great Barrier Reef, the Bunker Group. This trip took us a week to get to the Whitsundays, so we pulled into Gladstone for some stores and stretched the legs along the way. Wow, this is such a different lifestyle. It was so cool arriving somewhere from the sea. I don't know what it is, but it's totally different to driving into a town in your car. I often come across dolphins, and down the New South Wales coast, there's more than you can poke a stick at. For navigation, I had a GPS fish finder and a digital hand bearing compass. I learnt navigation flying planes in New Zealand. It's no different on the water, it's got tides and wind to mix into the equation. She handled the sea well, especially crossing bars. She could stay in front of anything big enough to worry you. I had tons of room to invite new friends on board. I only raced the boat once. With a makeshift crew with no experience, starting on a handicap behind 140 racing boats, on a 15 mile course becoming 20th overall, we overtook 120 boats and cleaned up the multi-hull division outright. We were back at anchor in time to make lunch, open the beers and watch the rest of the fleet come in. Beautiful Whitehaven Beach in the Whitsundays. Living on a boat is something else. After years alone in a shared building, it was so nice to have a life again. Brisbane. After two years of cruising, this became home. I lived on the moorings by the botanical gardens. Here's brother Simon and the family on board for the first time. Brampton Island. And Lizard Island, northern tip of the Great Barrier Reef.
in the next video we'll visit Sydney and the two islands in the Pacific and a look at the finishing off of the interior just click on the link above thanks for watching